Mark's here, Dr. Hashim. I heard you say that, you know, tooth decay is an, is an STD. Well, what do you mean by that? Tooth decay is an STD because it is a saliva transmitted disease. STD, saliva transmitted disease. What does that mean? Is that it's a bacterial infection. That's, that's a fact, that's simple science. It's a bacterial infection that is transmitted from person to person through saliva. So when a child is born, they're actually born sterile. And then they get their bacteria, which lives on their skin, in their mouth, and in their guts, from the parents, the caregiver, whoever is living with them the most, and sharing saliva and kissing them and sharing food with them. So if, if the mother, let's say she's the main caregiver, which is the most common thing, if she has too many bad bacteria in her mouth, which means she has cavities and this and other problems, she's actually by default passing those bugs on to the child. So to protect your child and to protect yourself, you actually have to focus on balancing the bacteria, the biofilm in your mouth. Constantly, basically. It's not just a one-off thing. You need to keep balancing that so you have more of the good bugs, less of the bad bugs. And what is a biofilm and what makes it good or bad? Very simply put, a biofilm is a bug city. There's good guys in the bug city and bad guys. And which ones do you have more of at what point in time makes you either healthy or unhealthy depending on the good bugs, bad bugs in that city. Basically, we're 90% non-human cells. 10% of the living, breathing, pooping cells in us are non-human cells. Mm -hmm. That's a huge number, actually. Most of those guys are good guys. We need them. And most of them live on the skin and inside the guts, starting with the mouth all the way down to, to the bottom part of our guts. The rest of our internal organs are sterile. So your heart, your kidneys, your... Uh, your brain, they're kept sterile all the time by the activity of the white blood cells in your blood and all these things. Because if they're not, if you get a brain infection or heart infection, you're in deep trouble. Mm. Uh, if you have a kidney infection, you will know about it very quickly. As a matter of fact, your urine is sterile. Okay. This is a fact. If you have a kidney infection, urine is not sterile, but you know about it. But normal urine is actually sterile. I'm not suggesting you do anything funny with urine, <laughs> but I'm just saying urine is sterile, saliva never is. The bacteria in the mouth they're not just numerous in uh, quantity, but by variety, we have 700 plus species of different bacteria and fungus that live in our mouths versus only 500 different types and species that live in our lower guts. So the mouth holds a bigger variety of bacteria than the lower guts. Mm. The question is, in that biofilm, in that bug city that's in your mouth, and in your guts as well, it goes hand in hand, what's growing, the good guys or the bad guys? That's what a biofilm is, and that's why we talk, I talk about a biofilm balance, creating that balance. Less of the bad guys, or no bad guys, and more of the good guys. And that takes specific understanding and a few things to do and a few things not to do to keep that balance going so that you, you stay healthy and those who you kiss and share your saliva with, like I said, mother to child or caregiver to child, but also as we grow older, person to person, lover to lover. We're all sharing bacteria. We're all sharing saliva. What are you sharing? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. And Dr. Hashim, how can we protect, I guess, ourselves and also our loved ones from this global epidemic of tooth decay? Because it sounds pretty serious. It is pretty serious. And tooth decay is a global epidemic. It's the most common infectious disease of humankind worldwide. That's a well-known statistic, yet nobody's discussing it that much, really. 92% of the adult population in developed countries mm. has tooth decay. And we're talking like severe numbers, like 14 teeth, which is half of your teeth, technically on average, per capita, either filled or decayed or missing teeth in developed countries. That is, that is a huge statistic. Mm. Like, there's no other infectious disease in the world that is so widespread and yet hardly dealt with, really. Uh, and the way we deal with it is just obviously not inappropriate because if, if what we were doing did work to prevent it, we wouldn't have this number. Mm. It's one plus one equals two. If we don't get the two, then one of those two ones is not a one, really. <laughs> How do we get it to complete one? So what do we do, or what do we need to do? We need to become more aware of what we eat, who we share our saliva with, who we share our biofilm with, uh, who we get it from, uh, what we use to brush and clean our mouths with, because whatever we use in our mouths will either promote the growth of the good bugs or promote the growth of the bad bugs. And it can't do both simultaneously. So you're not in there to kill the biofilm. You're not going in to kill all bugs. You're going in to create a balance. Kill the bad guys and create an environment that lets the good guys grow. That's why I developed this also spike oral care system to do exactly that. It's the world's first alkaline, natural, and totally safe oral care system that is strategically and simply and very safely designed to do just that. Balance the biofilm by repeatedly introducing alkaline environment, 
creating more flow of saliva, because saliva is what protects our mouths yeah. and protects our guts and protects everything, basically. But if it has too many bad bugs, we've got a problem. If it has too much acid, we've got a problem. Acid lets the good bugs grow, because they make acid and love acid, and it kills the, the, the good bugs, mm. and vice versa. Mm. Alkaline promotes the, the good bacteria and inactivates and doesn't allow the, the bad bacteria to grow. So that's how you create a balance. And it's got to be natural and safe as well, because you ingest everything you put in your mouth, or you give to your child or to your loved one, everything is going to your bloodstream. Whether mm. you swallow it or not, it will still go to your blood. You better, better make, make sure that it's safe. Mm.